when I first went to the field, I thought I had a lot with me. I thought I had too much. I was almost ashamed because I had two foot lockers and a trunk and an accordion. But anyway, after I got there, I found out I didn't have hardly anything. <laughs> and so the missionary said to me, Faith, you better make out a list of the things you'd like to bring back. So I made out my list. And I got home, and one day, very foolishly, I sat down at the table, and I took out the Montgomery and Ward catalog. And one of the things I wanted was baby clothes to give to new mothers or mothers of new babies. And so I looked at the baby clothes and, and I started recording how much they cost and thinking how many I needed. And I thought, oh, I got more and more discouraged. I thought, there, there is no way, no way I can buy these baby clothes on my salary. I, I just can't do it. And then God spoke to me. Wow. And he said, <laughs> he said, Faith, don't you remember the song you sang before you went to the field the first time? I never shall doubt that my needs will be met. The ways and the means my dear father controls, who watches the sparrow will never forget, the one who must labor for perishing souls. I fell on my knees and I cried and I prayed and I said, Oh, Lord, forgive me. And Lord, if there's anything on that list you don't want me to have, I don't want it either. I'm just leaving it in your hands. You give me what you want me to have, and that's it. I'll be happy. So uh, I was out in deputation work, and I went to your grandparents out in Kansas. And your grandmother met me at the door. And she greeted me and invited me in and went in. And she said, that, No, Faith, before you even take your coat off, it was in the fall of the year, before you even take your coat off, I have a question to ask you. So I said, Okay. I had no idea what she was going to ask. And she said, yeah, Could you use some baby clothes? Wow, I said, I sure could. <laughs> well, she said, There's a lady in our church. It was sad when the baby had died and she had a whole lot of baby clothes. Nice things, very nice things. And uh, she said, I'm going to call her and tell her to gather up those baby clothes and bring them to church tonight. So she did. And I heard that there were four or six big shopping bags full of baby clothes. Lovely thing. And I was so thrilled. <laughs> Oh, there was one other thing I wanted. I must tell you this. I also wanted uh, books to take back. So some good Christian books, holy books, that I could read myself and share with my high school students. And uh, I had that as one of the things I had on my list. And I went to R.C. Boynton's school out in Illinois. And he said to me, Good now, I want you to come with me. And he took me into his book room, and I was surprised. He gave me a big card, and he said, now you just choose anything you want of the books on these shelves. I want you to fill this card with the books you want. And he had everything I wanted. And amongst them also, I wanted the devotional books by uh, Springs in the Desert and Streams in the Valley, those books by Sister Kalman, and uh, he had those. <laughs> and I mean, the Lord just supplied over and over again. One other thing, I wanted greeting cards. In Eritrea, you could not buy greeting cards except at Christmas time. And I wanted birthday cards and, and sympathy cards and get well cards. And, well, I didn't have money for that either. But I was visiting relatives in Cleveland, Ohio, and I called one of my cousins. And she said, Oh, Faith, by the way, could you use some greeting cards? Oh, yes, Judy. I said, I could, but how much do they cost? Oh, no, she said. I, I sell greeting cards. And at the end of the year, I always have some boxes left. 
and I just give them to some missionary that needs them. And so she gave me the greeting cards, and it, it was a, a big stack of them, you know. I went back with four barrels, four steel barrels full of things. The Lord gave me everything on my list, including also an ironing board. I was visiting the lady next door to my parents, and she opened the closet and an ironing board fell out. And she said, oh, this crazy thing, it keeps falling out of here. And she put it back in. She turned to me and she said, could you use an ironing board? I said, I sure could. <laughs> and my dad made a box for the ironing board. <laughs> So God supplied my needs in abundance. Mm. That's our Heavenly Father. Mm. 